Golf great Tiger Woods and skiing sensation Lindsey Vonn were one of those celebrity couples you wanted to root for. Both were top athletes, divorcees, and seemingly enjoyed a genuine connection in real love. So what went wrong? Here's the real reason Tiger Woods and Lindsey Vonn broke up. Woods and Vaughn met by chance at a charity event in Las Vegas in 2012, and according to Vaughn, they immediately connected. She told David Letterman in 2014, We're athletes, so I guess we have something in common mm -hmm. there. We just kind of relate really well to Did one you play? As their relationship deepened, they bonded by trying out each other's area of expertise. Vaughn told the late night host that she even nailed a hole in one during her first round on the green. She also confessed that Woods is a decent skier, but of course not the best. Compared to me, he's really not that good, but you know. <laughs> the divorcees ended up cementing their love as they healed together, quite literally. Woods was rehabbing his often injured back, and Vaughn was recovering from a knee surgery that kept her out of the 2014 Sochi Olympics. Vaughn told the AP, Rehab is not a fun thing to do. It's very monotonous and tedious. But if you're going through rehab, it's nice to have a partner to do this with. Although their competitiveness was obviously a form of flirting for these super athletes, Vaughn said they kept the attraction at bay during their joint physical therapy sessions. She added, It's about doing it right and taking the time you need to really heal properly. Everything happens for a reason. Just have to figure out what the reason is. Vaughn was the one who broke the news of the split, but not much can be gleaned from her Facebook message other than the fact that she's a well-handled celebrity who doesn't get bent out of shape over a man. She wrote, Tiger and I have mutually decided to end our relationship. I will always cherish the memories that we've created together. Unfortunately, we both lead incredibly hectic lives that force us to spend a majority of our time apart. But are we actually to believe they were too busy to date? If this were true, wouldn't it have always been the case? Two cheers to Vaughn PR for telling us absolutely nothing. But there is certainly more to this tale. The reason top athletes are absolute masters of saying nothing to the media is that, for the most part, they don't have to. Corporate sponsors pay for winning, and looking great doing it. Thus, shortly after Vaughn broke the seal, Woods gave his own nearly identical take on the split via his elegantly designed personal website in a message titled, A Personal Message from Tiger Woods. He wrote, Lindsay and I have mutually decided to stop dating. I have great admiration, respect, and love for Lindsay, and I'll always cherish our time together. Unfortunately, we lead very hectic lives and are both competing in demanding sports. It's difficult to spend time together. It all sounded like a coordinated PR effort. Even the phrase hectic lives is simply copy-pasted from Vaughn's statement to Woods. Just like their physical therapy stint together, teamwork makes the dream work. It's hard to hate. Vaughn and Woods were initially happy, very happy. As Lindsay told Sports Illustrated, I mean, I was in love. I loved him and we're still friends. I wish him all the best and, you know, we stay in touch, but, um, you know, we're both in just in different places in our lives. However, relationships are also about compromise, and at a certain level of success, that can be difficult. Vaughn went on to admit, Sometimes I wish he would have listened to me a little more, but he's very stubborn and he likes to go his own way. But if Vaughn was angry at all, she absolutely refused to admit it. She did, however, finish with a subtle nod to Wood's well-publicized competitive decline following their split, adding, I hope this latest comeback sticks. I hope he goes back to winning tournaments. Woods would go on to win at least one more Masters tournament, golf's biggest prize. He would not, however, go on to reclaim his absolute reign of dominance or his world number one ranking. There's an unspoken and delicate balance to all celebrity relationships. When two stars agree to merge orbits, the combined gravity causes a media feedback loop that can spiral wildly out of control. But a sudden reorientation of mass can also be uncomfortable for the lesser star, who may want all planets revolving solely around them. Vaughn told the New York Times in 2013, Wherever he's around, we're living in a fishbowl. I didn't quite know what I was getting myself into. It's weird, but it's just something I have to deal with. He has his job, and I have mine. I just have to get used to it. It's a fine line between, you know, sharing your life and, and having people invade your privacy. Yikes, that doesn't sound great, but wait, it gets worse. She went on to tell the outlet, Some people seem to forget that I'm not just Tiger's girlfriend. I'm actually a successful athlete. I'm Lindsay. I have my own career and my own life. After the dust had settled on their split, Vaughn echoed a similar sentiment to E! News, revealing, Everyone's looking at you and judging you and, you know, commenting on what they think is right or wrong. It looks like not everything revolves around Woods and his problems. Vaughn took Woods on this ride barely a year after her own divorce from trainer-slash-husband Thomas Vaughn in 2011. The Vaughns were married only four years, but had been an inseparable team since 2003. 
Together, they achieved both Olympic success and multiple World Cup titles, per the New York Times. So, in 2012, when Vaughn met Woods, she was on the rebound from the only other serious romantic relationship of her entire life. She told the Times, "...jumping into a relationship right away after getting a divorce was probably not the smartest move on my part. I don't regret anything. I love Tiger, and I had an amazing three years with him." From one athlete to another, yeah. it's just it's really nice to see, after all his injuries and surgeries, that he's come back. Clearly, Vaughn adored Woods, but she still saw the downside in real time. Telling Vogue in 2013, Tiger's fame is obviously in the extreme, the amount of scrutiny that he's constantly under. But that's the thing. It all comes back to being happy. It doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. Do what you love to do and be happy, and that's it. I'm very proud of what she's done and what she's continuing to do. It sounds like Vaughn knew this relationship was a circus, and she was heading into it anyway. But can you blame her? This is a woman who plunges down the sheer side of icy mountains at speeds of up to 95 miles an hour. She does it for glory, she does it for her country, and also it sounds like one hell of a ride. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.